I will tell you, there is nothing more intimidating than a white canvas staring back at you, like Rocky meeting Apollo Creed in the ring for the first time. Don't show fear, but don't show disrespect either. With warm studio lighting in place of cool fluorescence, music vibrating off the brick walls, I start to use fancy footwork around the ring. I study my opponent until I am ready to make a move. When I hit the canvas, I start in hard. Techniques confident, moves of the brush, a mere glimpse of deja vu. I'm looking for something. Like digging into an old chest, I won't know what it is until I see it. I'm looking for something. Painting my way through, staining the canvas, losing my surroundings, curiosity drives me deeper. I'm looking for something. Feeling through each choice, stains become darker, I go deeper still. Time displaces and food becomes irrelevant. Then I can go no further. I must come up for air. For now, the fight is over. I step back, taking in the work and its surroundings. I'm weak, with paint-stained hands, brush still dripping. I can't make sense of where my creation came from. Over the past several years, I have created seven series of works each a reflection of my growth as an artist and a human being. I have completed my last series over a year and a half ago. And after that, I thought to myself, what next? I could see all my series laid out in front of me, the experience that led me to them, the process of creating them, and the evolution that I derived from them. And it wasn't until after many days I started to feel something different. I could see something different and then I could see it all. And it wasn't until I stepped back and looked at all the series as one study did I realize that I was able to uncover a scientific interpretation of the creative process. What I've been doing for the last year and a half is the process of constructing this theory into a book. The beauty of the book is in its entirety. It is the journey of an artist finding purpose beyond the canvas. And in the end, what the artist finds is much, much more than he could have ever anticipated. You see, the book will open the door to a deeper conversation for the creative process in every possible manifestation. I've titled this book, One Ton Goldfish in Search of the Tangible Dream. You see, One Ton Goldfish in essence has been my alter ego for nearly 10 years keeping me striving for purpose and, and greatness beyond the canvas. You see, it's an idea about greater self, an idea about higher purpose. Its voice cannot be silenced, and it must be shared. Thank you.